What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Tay Love, and I am here, man. I've been getting asked to do this tutorial forever, so I'm going to go ahead and do it so we can get this over with so we ain't got to worry about doing this ever again, you know what I mean? But now nah, I'm just playing, but uh, real talk, um, let me back up. I feel like I'm like super close, but um, I am going to show you guys how to properly give yourself a taper without messing yourself up, messing up your hairline or whatever. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to line yourself up. I have already lined myself up because I had to go somewhere earlier. So I was like, let me line myself at least before I do this. But uh, I'll show y'all the motions of what you would do or whatever. And uh, basically show y'all basically how to do this, man. I haven't shaved anything yet too. So uh, I can't wait to line all this up and clean myself up because I feel like I look rough right now. But yeah, stay tuned. All right, YouTube, first thing that you're gonna do is I'm using, um, for my lining, I do use the Andy's T liners for that. Uh, you can purchase these in any hair store or whatever. I think they're like around 40 to 60 bucks. But um, I mean, I have two pair of them. I do have just these on it, the one with the surgical, I think it's called the surgical guard on there, um, where it's just straight. It doesn't have the T on there. Um, it's just regular liners have those. And then for the fading and basically getting your hair down to the right length that you want it, basically all in your, this area and the size before, you know, you actually do the fading, I use the Andy's Masters, which, if you're a barber, most barbers you'll see in a barbershop they have one of these. These run, I think, a hundred dollars. Uh, when I got it back in the day, it was like eighty dollars. So I don't know how much they are now. I, um, I've only replaced these one time, so this is my second pair, and I've been cutting forever. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be using those, and then um, today I'm using the Zero Guard. Uh, you can find these in the hair store as well. Um, sometimes I use a one guard just because I like it to be a little thicker up top. But today I, I want to knock it down a little lower, basically just to make sure that um, it lasts a little longer because I don't feel like messing with it for a while. Um, but yeah, let's get started. All right, the first thing that I like to do is uh, take the guard. I close this all the way. So you got it all the way. So if you're looking at this, as you see this needle, There we go. This needle, it opens up all the way. You see it has a small trim right here. But when you close it, it brings it all the way to the tip of this. So when you put the guard on, it's basically at that level at the closed mark. And then you can basically cut downwards. Basically you're gonna go with the grain, not against the grain. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna do is, oh, you're gonna plug this in. That's exactly what you're gonna do. You're gonna plug, <laughs> your stuff in or it's not gonna work out for you. So you plug it in, you got your guard on there and it's closed. What you're gonna do is, first thing first, if you do have hair that's falling from you, I have my hair uh, in the, the barrels right now, so I don't have to worry about it, but if you do have your hair down or whatever, make sure you get you a, a band that can hold your hair back so you can hold it back as far as you can. If you have a short locks, you know, as far as you can get it to, to what you know hold it back do that and um just to be safe if you're scared of messing up your uh front locks if you're scared you're going to touch them whatever get use an extra band and lay it right here on the tip so that you don't pass that all right so first thing i'm going to do is you're just going to go you're going to knock these down on the side i actually already did this but i'm going to show y'all anyway i knocked it down some but you basically just Cut on here, cut it all down. I probably can do it better now that I uh, have this barrel. So my hairline is all pulled back right now. So it's a little easier than trying to miss them, those uh, locks. But basically just do both sides, go all the way around. Blah, 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 blah. that's all you do, man. It's really simple. Just go all the way around, but go down, a you don't want to go, don't go up because that's how we're going to fade this. So don't go 
with the grain, with the grain all the way around, all the way around. All right, so once you got it at the level that you want, one thing that I do that a lot of people don't, a lot of people fade first and then they edge up. I like to edge myself up that's so I can have a clean look and sharp look as I'm edging up so I can uh, kind of get the feel of how I want the fade to look. It's just something I do. I've been doing it forever, so some people say it's backwards, but I get my best fades that way, and I've been doing it forever. So, um, first thing I do, make sure that's plugged in, but cut your guard on, and I'm going to explain this to y'all, and I'm not going to explain it again. If I see another comment about it, we boxing, bro. You can see me. Now, but real talk, uh, my line, as you see, the reason why I started my dreads in the first let me cut this off so you can hear me good the reason why i started my dreads in the first place was because on these corners here my hair was balding and i thought i was going bald but i went to my mom and she was like uh we don't have that running our family of people balding and stuff she's like so it might be stress and um you've probably been scratching and you know stressed out and you're starting to lose hair right there but if you leave it alone it'll grow back so i did that and as you can see this side actually started to grow back you still see a little mark right there and then on this side it's super light so when you're looking at my hairline it looks like my stuff is pushed back but it's really not it's just real very light like super light you can barely see it. it's darker here but then it's light all in here so it's not pushed back that's just how it is man but uh yeah and this right here happened when i was a little kid and had a, one of those big block nintendo's fall it hit me on my head boom and it was a scar there and hair just don't grow right there so it don't really matter but i like my hairline so i'm cool but um first thing that you're going to do is if you want to get a nice straight line going all the way across do not start from the sides you start from the middle piece so you're going to start from the middle section and then you work your way this way go back to the middle section and work your way this way that way you stay everything level from here so that you always have a straight line on the front so basically take this you're going to go here you're going to cut down and you're going to work your way across which I've already done this, so I'm not really cutting much. Just even some little hairs that I may have missed because I rushed earlier. But just go across. Start from the middle and go across all the way till you get to these points. Sometimes these points can be tricky because you got you can't really see that well. So one thing that you can you do is when you're doing these lines here, turn this sideways. So when you're doing this. You can touch right there. Let me uh, turn here so you can actually. Let me see if I can do where you can see better somehow, some way. No. But basically, you'll we'll start here, press down and drag it out, and then go in and drag it out. Alright. When you're getting into these little corners here, sometimes if you can't get to the little corners, you can always turn it this way and go in, but just use this tip of the corner and touch that top part to drag it out. It's a little easier when you're cutting somebody else's hair compared to your own, trying to get that little corner. But just do it that way and boom, you'll get your little corners that fast. But basically take that, same motion, boom, drag it out. And then to get this little corner piece, use this as your guide to make the little swoosh. So come here, start from the beginning and work your way like that. But just use your corner to work your way down. So you can basically do it in a motion with yourself. So take that corner and work your way down like that. All right, that's the main edge up. You do the same thing on the other side. I'm not gonna go deep into edge ups. If y'all need me to make a video about edging up, just edge it up, I will. But most people really kind of know how to edge themselves up properly. Just know that wherever your line is, do not push that back further. Start from the middle and work your way here, there, sides, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's go on to the fading. Well, let me keep that plugged in. All right, we're gonna go on to the fading. This this portion uh, depends on how you wanna do your fade. All right, some people like a light fade, which if you're gonna do a light fade, you're gonna you're not gonna use, you're not gonna ball this out here. You're gonna basically take this, you're gonna, oh, I ain't even got it plugged in. You're gonna take this, you're basically gonna take this, all right? I usually, if I'm doing a, a, a light taper, I usually take this and put it like halfway. So you'll turn to the side, basically look, 
and it depends on how high you want to do your fade as well. Some people like their fades to start very low so you still see this line real sharp and then they bring it up just a little tad. Me, myself, I like to bald it so I bald all this out and I fade from here and come up because I like my fades to come all the way up to here because I like to just keep it real bald area because that helps the fade last longer. So once it actually comes in, it'll look like a light taper within two, two weeks. You know what I mean? And then you can go maybe another extra week if you wanted to. But I don't do that because I like to stay fresh. But um, I'm going to show you guys how to do the bald one. The light one is the same technique except that you're not going to bald it here. Okay? So the first thing I do is... Dang, I got to get this down, man. I, I, ain't, I am not prepared. I really, I, I don't, I, I never wanted to do a tutorial like this, but <laughs> I wanted to help y'all out, so I'm going to do it anyway. But, uh, yeah, first thing you're going to do is you're going to start here. I usually keep it at this form, like you're doing an edge up. And I start from this back corner where my air is, and I drag it all the way here to that line because that's how high I like mine. If you want to do it lower, you can start you can start there if you want to, if you still want to see that corner and do it that way. But I don't do it that way. I do it straight from corner to that top line right there. So basically just ball that out. All right, you're gonna ball that out. Boom, you see you got it. Do the same thing to the other side. And the only reason I edged all that up was because I was going out, you know, so it, usually I won't even edge that part. I'll just edge this part because I'm not even going to be using that. But if you're doing a uh, light taper, you want to make sure you keep that and edge that part up because you're not going to be going up as high as I am. So I basically have these sides like this. One of the reasons I like doing it this way and having a, uh, that that fade like this on the ball on uh, the ball tapers is because I like to uh, have that feel of it if it was a uh, like a ball fade like a all the way ball fade all the way around because I used to rock that I used to love that cut so I cut it that way so when I'm looking at it, even though I got hair all right here it just has that feel of it so yeah that's what I do all right so the next thing that you're gonna do is once you ball that you're gonna grab your masters. You're gonna open all the way. It needs to be open all the way, all right? And then what you're gonna do is, you're going to, make sure y'all can see me good, I'm over here. I, I forgot all about this camera. Like I forgot all about you guys. I, I apologize for not paying attention to this angle, all right? So uh, <laughs> next thing we're gonna do is, we're going to cut up. We're gonna go against the grain, all right? And we're gonna cut up to about here, all right? And we're gonna go all the way down to this corner. So basically, you can start from the front. And work to that corner. All right. And you see, we have a line going like this. And then that line, that bottom line. All right. Now, make sure you have a brush so you can keep brushing down or whatever. The next thing is, some people do it different. Some people start with this top line and then they work with the bottom line. I switch it up, it depends on how I'm feeling. I just kind of go with the flow, I don't really pay attention. So sometimes you can, it don't matter which way you do it first. Take out whatever line you want first. All right, so the first line I'm gonna take out is this bottom line. Uh, to take out the bottom line, it's easier way to do it is to, we start it open, just work your way down to the bottom. So start off open and you can start to that first notch if you don't have Andy's and they don't have the notches on it just move it just a tad a little bit more and then you're gonna do the same thing but you're gonna cut but when you cut you want to cut out like this out don't cut straight up because if you do that if you just go like this and you just cut like that you're gonna create a whole nother line and you have to take that line out so if you do it this way it's preventing that line from creating so basically you're gonna cut out and one thing that I do use is a good technique so you're not using this whole thing pressed against your head coming out I, I like to use my corners 
I use the corners a lot to help not create any lines and grab the hairs that you need. Even if you're like, you miss a spot and you want to just get one spot, use that corner to get it out and you'll get it out. But basically do that and then keep working your way down. I started there and now we're gonna go halfway. And you just keep, do the same technique. And then you're gonna go even more. Then we're gonna close it all the way. Use your corner on this part because it'll be easier to get that out of there without creating a line. And always look back into the mirror. Turn your head a little bit, turn a little bit, because sometimes with the lighting, you can't tell if you still have a line in there or not. So get in there and kind of move around because the mirror doesn't lie. So if you look in the mirror, you still see a line, there's a line there. If you still have issues and you think you still have a line, you can always take your, uh, your T-liners and use this corner and snip in little places kind of all around, but don't go all the way crazy, but take the corner and just snip just a tiny little bit and it'll take out some of those little lines if you ever need just help getting a little bit of line out. So once you have that bottom completed, the next thing that you're gonna do is, now we're gonna take out this line. We're gonna use this, the guard. This is the zero guard. Like I told you before, since I'm we cut this, whatever length that you cut this down at, use that same guard going back to fade. So basically what we're gonna do is, last time we went with the grain. Now we're gonna go against the grain, but we're gonna start open. The same technique that we did without the guard, we're gonna do with the guard. So, you're gonna do the same thing. And this, you're gonna come up. Still make sure you're coming out like that. You don't have to really come out. Um, it's, if you do it fast enough, you get used to it. Your hands are kind of just get used to coming out, period. So right now, it could look like I'm not coming that way, but I am. But on doing that, brush it down. You're gonna do the same thing. Take it step by step, man, just step by step. Bringing it down and you'll see that line start to come out. Take it down some more. Close all the way and get all in there. Sometimes if you missed it, man, and you were going and you see how all that's dark right there, close it back again and do your, go back in there and go down on it to get those extra hairs that you probably have missed if you were going through and missed them. Sometimes you can see it better when you fade. But yeah. But just play with it. Like if, if you still haven't got that line out and how you want it, Start all over and open it up again and go back and start it again until you get it all the way out. And sometimes even you gotta take that guard off like and get over and open all the way and you come in it. It's a hard to it, man. Sometimes it's not just a step by step, and you just 
no matter what, it's gonna be that way. Sometimes you gotta play with your hair because your hair, everybody's hair is different. And sometimes your hair is gonna work a certain way. And sometimes the clippers may not react to the hair a certain way this time. So you may have to kind of move the hair around. Maybe you got a little bit of grease in it or maybe your hair is too dry or whatever. But just make sure you're working it out. But that's basically what I'm doing. Just starting it all over. I gave you the basic techniques, but getting all the lines how you want it, just gotta play around with it. And boom, voila, you got a fade. You're good to go. That right there is a fade, brother. That's all you do. And basically take that, repeat the step on this side, and you good to go. Simple as that. That's how you fade, my peoples. That is how you fade, step by step. Level by level, man. Patience is the key. Patience is the key.